how's everybody doing today? Uh, today's Saturday morning. We're gonna be helping out a friend of mine, uh, depending on how he feels about it, because sometimes he can be real uh, kind of weird. But we're gonna be helping him out with his truck today. I'm not gonna tell you guys what type of truck it is until we get there, and I can show you guys. So I'll kind of make it like a teaser. Uh, but yeah, so we take a break from this girl to uh, going to work on his truck. So it should be interesting. Up on it. All right, everybody. So today, uh, you guys already saw the intro and whatnot. That white uh, Cummins, that was my buddy uh, truck, uh, Kyle. He has a 12 valve, 98 12 valve. Uh, I ended up helping change the steering gearbox. Uh, we did a Changed out the steering gearbox, installed the steering brace, and swapped out his driver, his passenger front side uh, spindle, uh, his knuckle, because it was the hole where the tie rod end goes into was wallowed out. So I spent the morning and a little bit of the afternoon doing that with him. Uh, I was gonna try to get some film on it, but the people who work there, they're they're kind of weird. So I didn't I didn't feel comfortable filming around them because they were like watching us like every time we were doing something. So. But yeah, I went ahead and did that with him this morning, uh, so I'm still in that maintenance. Let's get it done, throw parts on the truck mindset, which is good because we got to get take care of my baby now. Uh, yeah, so today is the day, intercooler time, man. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys the intercooler one more time. And then it's drizzling outside right now. The weather's bad, so I'm going to have the camera set up. It's going to be under my garage, but you'll still be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, also for installation, it's not really a how-to video. Um, I will mention some things when installing it, but it, Mishimoto has a really good video for a 5967 Cummins on how to install an intercooler. Uh, I can leave the link down below, uh, down in the comments description section. I'll leave that down below. You can be able to click the link, watch the video. It's, it's a really simple install. Um, you take the air box out, take off your hose. If you're using the same hoses, uh, pipes, you know, take them off. Take the clamps off, take it off, and then swap out the intercooler, hook it, hook it back up with the new couplings, and you're good. Uh, if you're swapping out the pipes like I am, then you take the pipes off and then swap it out, put them on, and you're done, all right? So it's not really hard. Uh, the only thing we're going to be removing out of the way, two things, like I said earlier, uh, air intake box, and then we're going to remove the uh, condenser. We're going to just pull it to the side. It's bolted to the front of the intercooler, so it's not a big deal, okay? So I'm going to show you guys everything I have along with something extra. Uh, Aside from the uh, aside from the intercooler job, I'm gonna show you guys another little thing, uh, little project that we're gonna have coming up soon with the truck. Okay. All right, everybody. So this is the box. Uh, as you know, if you watched the previous video of the unboxing of the intercooler, it did not come with any pipes or couplings. So I contacted the company. They were really cool about it. Um, what they ended up doing was refunding me the difference on how much it would cost to get the pipes and stuff. Uh, I ended up getting that difference back from what I paid, so I even got an even better deal on this. Uh, so they refunded me that, that that portion back, and then I went ahead and ordered this off of. Uh, I think I got this on Amazon. I don't remember, but this is all the all the stuff that comes with it. Uh, you know, your couplings, three and a half inch turbo, uh, your your intercooler pipes. So it has all of this stuff in here. You know, you got your clamps and whatnot and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this going uh, over here. Is the intercooler? I got that uh, just chilling right here. I'm gonna move it out of the way so I can go ahead. So, like I said, you guys, all you're gonna pretty much be doing is remove the intercooler, take these four bolts out. Uh, there's one behind this little plastic shroud. Take them out, pull it to the side, uh, pop this little guy off. Right? There's gonna be some uh, down at the bottom. There's gonna be some. I think they're bolts that hold them down or anchors or something. Take those out. Disconnect your pipes. Take your uh, intake out. If you got a stock one, you do the same thing. Take it out and then disconnect the pipes going to it. All right. Now we have brand new pipes and, you know, couplings and stuff. So I'm going to be taking all of it out. Um, but that's pretty much it. So as I go along, I mean, you can see the old one right here back in there. That's the old one. All right. So you can see it. So as I go along, I'll be updating you guys on, you know what I'm doing. And if there's anything I feel like that's no that needs to be known, I'll uh, definitely mention it. Okay. Mm. So this box. That's right. Okay. This is going to be another video. Uh, but yeah, that should be able to tell you what's going to be going on soon. Now, if you look at the boxes, you know that 
this cannot all be engine oil so what else is in the other one so I'm gonna leave it like that uh, we might hit that up later at the end of the video or I'll just leave it as a surprise you guys can guess and you know whoever gets it right maybe I'll just do a shout out for you or something you know figure it out uh, if not then I'm just gonna make another video about it and do it so I'm gonna leave that as is <laughs> but yeah alright so we're gonna go ahead and get this alright so I went ahead and already took out the air box uh, I was looking at my turbo that thing looks so nasty Let's see if I can get up in there it's so nasty in there uh, that's from all those miles and miles with uh, the what you call it not having a CCV delete done on it but that's not what this video is about it's about getting the intercooler installed uh, so real quick with that I already got that out of the way so you can see you have access to your hot side pipe uh, coming from the turbo we're gonna go ahead and loosen this from the turbo side disconnect it disconnect this side get her out alright same thing on this side you're gonna take it off down here take, take it off from there take it off from your intake manifold side and then we're good there alright for the intercooler if you got a Cummins the only difference is instead of or <laughs> oh my god if you have a 5.9 Cummins the only difference is instead of this being a I think this is a 10 mil you're gonna have a T20 alright or yeah T20 Torx heck alright I'm gonna pop this off real quick and then go ahead and get this stuff out the way alright uh, it is drizzling out here the weather is horrible so I'm gonna be working a little quick okay yeah hey real quick guys uh, I just wanted to get you guys on the camera real quick I'm gonna put you guys in a time lapse while I knock this stuff out uh, like I said it is so simple uh, I kinda already went through what you need to do for it also uh, yeah I'm gonna have the link down below for this video installation video uh, over on Mishimoto's website it's spot on it's accurate it's soup it's easy they say it's a three to it's a out of five stars it's a three star in difficulty it is not a three star this is probably one and a half two star at the max uh, so yes I'm gonna get this done Okay guys, so I got the stock uh, boost pipes out, got the aftermarket ones, just wanted to show you guys what they look like, uh, that stock, right, and then aftermarket, so goes from 3 inches to ha three and a half inches, uh, it's going to be a nice upgrade, I just wanted to show you guys that progress, uh, I already took them out, I might have done them a little backwards, but from what you know the video says, but whatever, yep, so it's out though. I just wanted to show you all that, all right? All right, she's out. That's it. That's the old girl. First thing, all I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna transfer these bushings over. You got the ones up here, and then you got the ones down here. Make sure you transfer those over to the new one. Okay. Uh, yeah, you won't need those receptacles for the uh, intercooler or for the condenser. And then I'm gonna get those onto the new girl. Okay. But I mean, 
Shoot, let me move this over real quick so y'all can get a side by side. Okay, so that's it. Right, side by side. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell the opening difference, right? Thickness difference, how thick that one is compared to how thick that is. It is bigger, okay? So I'm going to get y'all back on the tripod. I'm going to go ahead and swap this stuff over and get this mounted down because as you can tell, it is drizzling out here. So I'm trying to get this done in a respectable amount of time, okay? So it's in, it's mounted in, but we ran into our first problem. Uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts and the stock ones are not. Um, these definitely don't fit in here. So this is our first problem. Um, I'm going to see if I have any 10 mils lying around in the, in the garage. I'm pretty confident that I do, but if not, then that's going to suck a lot. So I'll get back with y'all, okay? Yo, so I'm back. We had a quick fix. Um, I was able to get some, these are 8 millimeter bolts I had lying around. I went ahead and the, the bottom ones are shorter. They're like yay big compared to the top ones are like this long. Uh, I was able to get them on. It's in nice and tight. I used three washers here on the top ones and here. Uh, I, have, I have a little kit. Hey, these are handy. These ones and the ones with nuts are super handy to use. Um, awesome stuff but nonetheless we're good uh, we're gonna keep making headway AC condenser is back on so I'm gonna keep this going. goddamn North Carolina killing my vibe with all this rain it was so nice out this morning too and then well yeah it was clear skies and then maybe about an hour before I started it just started rolling in oh well it is what it is all right, guys, got the weather to calm down now. Well, I didn't get it, but the weather went ahead and stopped for now. It's going to rain again tonight. Uh, I ended up checking it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these pipes in. I went ahead already and put the boots on. These are the four-inch boots. For This is going to be for your cold side going to your intake uh, intake manifold. Uh, yeah, I already got it on. Uh, so for I have a pusher, aftermarket pusher intake. Uh, that one's a four-inch or three-and-a-half-inch one. Uh, this one here is pretty sure this is a four inch one. Um, I'm gonna see how this fits up on it and then yes we're gonna go from there okay. Alright guys so as you can see if you look behind me it is dark outside it's about 15 past 8. Uh, I was struggling with the cold side uh, intercooler pipe uh, going from the what is it three inch to three and a half inch or whatever size it is now I forgot <laughs> Uh, it's you you got to fight with it um you definitely have to fight with it definitely if you want to upgrade it pipes you I highly recommend taking off your intake manifold it makes it it, it makes it so much easier uh, there's so much things in there wires and all sorts of stuff it just gets snagged up on so I all right update got the pipe in uh that is a fight trying to get that in oh my goodness but it's in oh also they didn't give them they, they shorted me a clamp I'm missing a clamp so I don't have a clamp right there. It's not on. Um, I'm going to run it. You know, obviously I'm not going to be gassing it or flooring it. But I'll run it. I'm going to email them. Tell them to mail me out a brand new clamp. So once I get that in from them, they can, uh, I'll throw that back on. But yeah, she's on. It was, uh, yeah, it was something, man. I tell you what, now I can go ahead and throw the air cleaner back in. So, and then this will be a done job, all right? It is, man. There's that Mishimoto intercooler is installed uh, I didn't put the shroud back on right here because I don't really care but I am gonna put it on but I didn't put it on right now because uh, I'm gonna eventually take it off for that clamp oh yeah I need to go ahead and take this off this has serial number you guys are gonna watch the unwrapping <laughs> done actually need to super glue that that's about to come off yes but this is it man this is a done wrap so I'm going to go ahead and close out this video and that will be it. Alright guys, so I finally finished it. Um, Yeah, I apologize for it going for so long or it might have seemed like it, it was long. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock at night um, fighting with those hoses. They, they really get, can get the best of you. 
Uh, it's still an easy installation. It just takes time. That's all. It's not hard. You just got to no, no crap. Just muscle it up and just get it on in there. So I finally got that done. Uh, air, air filter is cleaned. I went ahead and cleaned that. And uh, intercooler is in. So I'm going to crank her up. I'll probably do a video talking about it, uh, how it is, having it on there, if I notice a lot of difference or anything, uh, maybe faster spool up or something. So we'll see. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing and checking out my videos. Um, if you're not new to it and you've been around since day one, I appreciate you guys checking out the video and watching it. I appreciate everybody who's been giving me messages of of, of lift, you know, lifting up and confidence and whatnot and all that stuff because I get messages you know on the weekly from people saying hey man good video I, I really like your videos keep it up or you know they'll be like hey man you really release good normal like down to earth content you know I really appreciate it I like your videos keep them up man you know so thank you guys so much for the, uh, the positive uh, encouragement you know what I'm saying I really appreciate it you know like I said in previous videos, video, videos before uh, these, these videos are are made for the everyday person, the average man, uh, not the person rolling around, you know, with a bunch of money where they can just drop 20, 25 G's on a truck to make it, you know, the way they want it to be. Uh, no, this is, you know, we take our time piece by piece. We get what we want. And until, you know, I'm happy with, you know, my vision, uh, I'll just keep chipping at it slowly, you know. But uh, with that being said, don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do something uh, unless you don't want to do it. All right. So if you want to do it, go after it. Uh, there's always a way to get something done. You know, whether it's information, uh, word of mouth, whatever it is, if you want to do something, set your mind to it. You can do it. All right. It's all about applying yourself. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Do me a favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel because more content is coming. And uh, you guys have a good night. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Until next time. Peace.